Friday Night Frenzy, sponsored by Berkshire Heating and Air and Wilbur Hammond, Munson Academy. Good evening, sports fans. It's time for your Friday Night Frenzy. I'm your host, Glenn Kittle. We've got girls and boys basketball and hockey highlights for your viewing pleasure. And postseason play approaches very soon. And every game from here on out for some of our local teams is a must win. So let's roll right into it, shall we? We got the 10 and 5 Agawam girls heading to Hampshire County to face the 11 and 4 East Hampton Eagles. First quarter, no score. Agawam with the ball, Sophia Laprise puts it up. But it's Caitlin Claval with the offensive board in the first bucket of the game. Agawam's up 2 0. Short time later, Eagles ball. Christine Raymond. Pass to Simone Young. Young goes up and in for the East Hampton hoop. Eagles take a 3-2 lead. Later in the quarter, East Hampton's Kaylee Downey gets the long pass. Stops on a dime. Gets the three-pointer. 6-2 Eagles. Next Agawam possession. Marley Montagna trying to find an opening. Shoots the ball. Gets the hoop. And one. Eagles get the ball back. Addison Barr finds none other than Kaylee Downey alone in the corner. Another three-pointer for East Hampton. Makes it 9-4. Final score in that one, though. East Hampton comes away with a big win. Eagles 52, the Brownies 36. Going to the ice rink now, we got the 10-3-1 Pope Francis girls hockey team hosting the 9-4-1 Long Meadow Lancers at Amelia Ice Rink. Second period, score tied at 1. Pope Francis with the puck, and Cardinals' Megan M. Shoot, saved by Long Meadows goalie Nicole Pollard. Down at the other end, Pope Francis goalie Felix Gokul. Making some pad saves for Cardinals. Finally, the puck is cleared for Gokul. Later on in the second period, Cardinals, Cameron Rogowski, cross the center ice, passes off the defender. Rogowski gets it back, scores the goal. Pope Francis up 2-1. Now to the third period, Longmeadow down one. Lancers, Maeve Doherty, working behind the net, passes to Ava Saunders. Saunders is going to find the top right corner. Makes the game tied at two. Interesting one. Around two minutes. Lancers, Nina Semaine with the puck. Semaine passed to Milana Schumann. One defender to beat. Schumann shoots and scores. Longmeadow takes a 3 to 2 lead with five minutes to go in the game. And Pope Francis pulls their goalie, but Longmeadow's goalie, Nicole Pollard, stops any attempts to tie the game. Longmeadow beats Pope Francis for the second time this year. Final score in that one. Longmeadow 3, Pope Francis 2. Second half action between Minnetog and Chicopee Comp Girls Basketball on Monday. Start things off with Chaud. Getting it down low to Kaylin O'Brien in the paint. He gets it up there for two. Comp's Taryn Caravu. Gonna take it coast to coast. See some pressure. Puts him a step back three. Got him, coach. Banks open as she catches it in. Fourth quarter now. Great ball movement for Chaud. Everyone getting in hand on it until Lila Jeanette. Gets it in the paint and puts it up for Deuce. Ava Manning gets it out on the wing. Puts it up for three. Bang! Nails it. Going out to Eliza Berger now for comp. Going to drive in from the wing. Puts up a floater. Hand in the face. Great defense. Even better offense. Manning trying another three from the same spot. That one won't connect, but Chog ensures the rebound and gets it to Kelly Cronin. Puts it right back up and in. That bookmarks Chog's blowout with a win at comp. Final score in that one, 58 to 28 in favor of Shaw. Putnam honored their seniors on Monday night at home against Amherst. Amherst ball to start things off. Marcelo Aquino at the top of the key. Can't connect with the big man underneath, Samuel Woodruff. He's there for the board, puts it back up for two. Putnam Julian Chapman tries the moving jumper from the elbow, falls short. But their big man, Vito Resto, is there for the board in the putback. Amherst gets it to Aquino on the wing. Gets the three to fall. Putnam going to try to respond. Akbar Allah puts up the corner three. Bang! They have an answer. It's a shooting gallery out here. Aquino again, this time from the top of the key. He's got another. Aquino once again showing he can do it in the paint. Drives in, puts up a little floater up and in off the glass. He's already high. Amherst finds a way to get it to him in the corner. You already know the end results. He would end the night with 24 points. Clock winding down at the end of the first quarter. Chapman tries to drive, ditches it to the corner for Cesar Smart. At the buzzer. And Putnam 
gets the huge win at home on senior night. Final score in that one. Putnam 66, Amherst 58.